look at her. <laughs> this is why she wears underwear. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akila, and I'm the founder of Big Dreamers. I'm back here at my office, which was recently renovated, and I have a few things that I need to set up. Behind me, you could see that there's another black shelf. I've been meaning to set up that up for a while, so I'm gonna do that today. I have a couple more boxes to just unbox, and then I'm gonna give you guys a proper office tour because I haven't actually showed you guys the space in full. I know I did a three-part, actually four-part uh, unveil of this. Unveil? Unveil? unveiling of this office. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, um, but within that four part series, I don't know if I actually talked about what inspired me to set up certain sections, why I decided to set up, you know, my little office nook, or just talk about the functionality of the space. So I'm just gonna give you guys more of a, I guess like an insider's look of why I decided to set things up the way it is. Immediately when you walk into my office, I have this little setup here where I'm displaying all my products. And the reason why I did that is because I've always dreamt of having my own warehouse. And when you walk in, there's a nice little showroom. I'm not there yet, but even though I have this space, which is small, it's still pretty mighty because I get a lot done in this space. And I really want people to walk in and just see like, you know, the magnitude of what I've been able to create in the last three years and all the different products that I produced. I mean, what started with one book, which is actually not displayed here, is my activity book, has, you know, evolved into all these products and many, many more that are not displayed. So I feel like when people walk in and they see this, just like, oh, wow, like you're shipping out all your books from here. You're operating your business from this little space. And I personally think it's pretty cool to see that. So this also just gives me inspiration of what can eventually become a big warehouse. So I like to just look at this to see, you know, where my humble beginnings were and where I've now landed and where I eventually one day will be. Display here, you probably see about half of my product line. So I'm definitely missing three of my books. So both activity books, Mover Shakers, History Makers, I also have my enamel pins, sticker sheets, my school bags not displayed here, but at least this gives, you know, people who come to my office a general overview of the different products that I do offer. In terms of functionality, oftentimes you're going to see me here at this table while I'll be sorting and packing um, my orders. And I just thought it would be easier if I'm just here packing up an order and I just turn to my left and my actual shipping station is right here, easy to access. I've got my shipping uh, printer for the labels. I have my scale. This is just the hole punch. It doesn't really do anything to affect my shipping center, but it's just there. But I just find it's easier. I mean, I do still have boxes that need to be unpacked that are under the table, but eventually the boxes that are just right over there in that corner that are currently housing some boxes that I ship my products in, um, they are gonna come back and go underneath this desk so that I can grab things easily. And I do have a, more, a few more boxes just here on this shelf that I use often to ship out products. So I just feel like the flow makes sense because I'm not, like before my office space, this desk was always here, but these items were across. So I'd have to walk around the desk, grab all the shipping things that I need. I actually need to get another printer because my old printer uh, is now at my other office for Overture with the Arts, but it's kind of old, so I needed a new one anyhow. So I need to get a new printer just to print out the packing slips, but it just makes more sense the way this is set up, and it just makes things so much easier, easier for me. And I find I'm just more efficient now with this setup as is. I've showed this area before in previous videos, but this is my little storage nook. And I'm really, really happy to have this because although I have a storage space, which is not too far from here, it's a few blocks away, I really needed something where I could house more of my products and I'm not basically sitting on top of boxes in my office space anymore. So having this separate area, 
I find it just gives me more peace and serenity because I don't feel overwhelmed because it really did feel stressful before when I had all those boxes just on top of the treadmill in the corner. So now, you know, when I'm sending out like bulk orders to schools, they need 200 books, they're all here. I can just grab them when I need to stock up some more. Just go to my storage space, bring them back here. But now everything's more organized and it's in order. And you know, it's clean and it just makes my life easier. And I just, I like the fact that I have everything here and I could ship out multiple books, multiple products at once and not have to go back and forth from my storage space. It's all here now. Look how cute they are. Don't we love that? Could you just fix Sean's um, tag? No, no, his face, like, maybe because the grain. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because just from the camera's perspective, it looked like Oops. it was a, a defect or something. Nope. Okay. <laughs> built you think in your career <laughs> i have probably built at least 10 of these because we have you know probably 20. probably have about 10 to 12 at maison de not maison de sorry at overtures art center and two here three there no uh three yeah exactly so i feel like 30. <laughs> I remember I measured once when I was here. Fits perfectly. I have these where I can actually anchor them to the wall, but I don't really have heavy things. So, oh, actually, it's not even gonna anchor because of the uh, the lip of the what do you call that? <laughs> baseboard. Yes, yeah, the lip of the baseball won't allow for it. But... Yeah, but this is perfect. So now I have my two shelves. I can shift some stuff over and I have a box here that has some more of those white bins that need to go on the shelf. And then a sweep and then call it a day. But that's pretty much it for today. Um, you've now seen my office more or less set up. I feel really motivated, really inspired to work here. It's nice and clean, it's renovated. I don't feel stressed out being in the space anymore. So I'm inspired to create more products, write more books, so please, Order some products like some books, some memory match games, some puzzles, notebooks, and you can place your order at www.bigdreamers.ca. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.